much, Aaron, and we'll see Amanda Keene a little bit later in the show. For now, we have team coverage of that protest tonight. Fox Carolina's Amber Worthy is joining us live from Clemson. And from what we've been following, Amber, I know you said there was a lot of emotion coming from the people in the crowd today. I know you even spoke to a women's basketball player, and, and she might have a story to share too, right? Definitely, and she shared it candidly and emotionally with a lot of tears, just trying to express how important this cause is to her. And she's just grateful to have her basketball teammates, but she knows them as her sisters, marching alongside her today with a big message and using their platform. Say their names. I've been watching video after video after video. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Why we got to keep going through this, you know? It's just sad. It's sad. And I'm, I'm, I'm just out here to fight. I'm just out here to fight. Fighting for a cause, and she's not alone. You know, just like watching my teammate just talk, like seeing Tyler upset, like that really hurts my heart knowing that she is going through this, and I will never know what she is feeling. So just seeing her upset and knowing my teammates are hurting really wants me to make a difference in do things that can actually change this. This group of Clemson women's basketball players are more than athletes marching for the same reason and making sure their sisters don't feel alone in this fight. Yeah, knowing that, you know, it's each one of us, it's our responsibility to acknowledge our privilege. With their football team leading the way, students say seeing this large of a group on their campus shows them that change is on the way. I wanted to come out and support because I'm angry. I'm tired of seeing our people get killed. I'm tired of people not speaking out on it. So to see all these people come here today, it makes me feel good. It's just the first step, but it, it makes me feel so welcome. Although some are still angry, they are allowing that anger to push their fight forward. See some real change, not just some change for optics and just for the media. Tell me that this week alone, Clemson has made several steps, positive steps toward making people of color feel very comfortable on this campus. But they say that this fight is just the beginning of it. Reporting live in Clemson, I'm Amber Worthy for Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.